In this one, let's take a look at solving this kind of quadratic equation. It says 6x squared plus 4x here is equal to 0. That's our goal. So first, if possible, divide our common factors that are not equal to 0. So for example, like 2 or 3 or whatever it happens to be. If you have trouble seeing what that is, you can take the 6 and write it as 2 times 3 times x squared. Then you take the 4 and you write that as 2 times 2 times x. Set that equal to 0 still the entire time. So that's helpful because now you can identify that you can divide this by 2. You can also divide that 2 away. You see that? And then you can divide also the 0 by 2. And then you write that a little more cleanly. So it looks like basically 3x squared. So 3x squared was left over in that term plus 2x in that term. And then 0 divided by 2 is 0. You again want to factor a common value out. So here the common value would be x. If you have trouble seeing that, you write this as 3 times x times x plus 2 times x equaling to 0. And then you underline or somehow emphasize one of the common values, like this x and this x. You see they're both present. So therefore, at step number 5, I'm going to have this. I pulled that outside. So x is on the outside now. That's the x I'm pulling out. That's underlined. What's left over is the 3 times the other x. So the 3x. And then what's left over is the 2. So I put 2 over here. So it equal to 0 still. Then you apply the principle of zero products, which says that the x in front, right here, this x, you take that and set it equal to e 0 individually. The other possibility is you take your 3x plus 2 and you set that equal to 0. From there, x equaling 0, that you can leave because there's nothing else to be done here. It's already sold for x, so that's good. This is a value of x that's good, x equals 0. A second equation there needs a bit of additional work, so I do that by subtracting 2 from both sides. I tally up the results. So 3x equals negative 2. And then I divide both sides by 3 over here, so x equals negative 2 thirds. That's the other good value of x. In other words, that is the other answer. There are two of them. x equals 0 is 1. x equals negative 2 thirds is the other one. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching.